Hey folks, just uh, wanted to go over what is mass, and I know this is the first time we're doing this. I recommend that you take notes. Feel free to hit the pause button, rewind, whatever it takes to um, get this information down. And when you're done, answer the questions on uh, Edmodo. So when we talk about mass, we talk about the amount of stuff uh, the matter within an object and everything in the universe that takes up space has mass. So if we take a look at a uh, at the units. So these are the units that you're always going to be using for mass grams. Okay, it's lowercase g for the unit. Um, some common examples: if you're measuring something that is large, like the mass of a car, you're talking about kilograms. Uh, if you check your medications, your aspirins, your prescription medications, they're probably going to be in milligrams or something very small. So the prefix changes, but the base unit right here, grams, does not. So if we take a look at a large object like an elephant. Uh, we know that if we compare it with a smaller one, like a mouse, the larger one's going to have more mass. So the question is, is well, why? And because the elephant has more stuff in it, more mass, more matter than the mouse. However, you've got to be careful because not everything that is large is going to have more matter. So take a look at this little boy here holding a, a pretty big beach ball. If we compare that big beach ball, which is, you know, roughly his size or so, and we compare it with something like a brick, and you were to guess, okay, well, which one is going to have more mass? Well, we know that the brick is going to be heavier, but the question is, is, again, is why? And that's because the brick here has more matter, but it's just compacted down. The ball, even though it's much larger, the matter is more spread out. So the brick, in this case, would have more matter, even though it's smaller than the beach ball, which has less matter, less mass, even though it is larger.